Asana versus Microsoft Planner. Which project management tool is better? When I first started managing projects across remote teams, I bounced between several platforms trying to find the best fit. Eventually, I spent a few solid weeks working with Asana and Microsoft Planner, two of the most popular project management tools out there. And let me tell you, they are very different experiences. Let's start with Asana. It's sleek, flexible, and packed with features. I was blown away by how easy it was to visualize project timelines using Gantt charts, Kanban boards, and even a calendar view. When I had complex tasks with layers of subtasks and dependencies, Asana made it easy to break things down and keep everything organized. The time tracking feature, though only available in higher plans, was a game changer for understanding how long our team was spending on specific deliverables. Plus, the workflow automation through Asana's rules saved us so much time. I could set up a rule to automatically assign tasks, send updates, or move cards based on status changes. No coding needed. On the flip side, there's Microsoft Planner. At first, it felt a little more basic, but then it clicked. If you're already deep in the Microsoft 365 ecosystem, this tool is perfect. It integrates seamlessly with Teams, Outlook, and OneDrive. I'd assign a task in Planner, and it would show up in my team's dashboard or calendar almost instantly. That kind of cross-platform visibility was incredibly useful. It doesn't have native time tracking or complex workflow automations like Asana, but if you use Power Automate, you can create some solid custom flows. Still, it's not as intuitive as Asana out of the box. Collaboration-wise, both tools perform well, but Microsoft Planner gets a slight edge if your team already lives in Microsoft Teams. The real-time updates, file sharing, and comments inside tasks felt super fluid. But here's the catch. Asana is more expensive. While it does have a free plan for individuals or small teams to unlock the good stuff like timelines and advanced reports, you'll need to shell out at least $10.99 per user monthly. On the other hand, Planner comes bundled in Microsoft 365, starting at $6 a month. So if you're already paying for 365, Planner costs you nothing extra. Now, let's talk downsides. Asana can be overwhelming. If you've never used project management software before, expect a bit of a learning curve. And honestly, it can feel like overkill for simple projects. Meanwhile, Planner's main limitation is its simplicity. It lacks the depth and customization that power users love in Asana, and third-party integrations are limited unless they're Microsoft products. So, which one's better? If you need rich project planning, powerful automation, and lots of third-party integrations, go with Asana. But if your team is already using Microsoft 365 and just needs something simple and effective for task tracking and collaboration, then Planner is a great option. Personally, I prefer Asana when I'm managing complex, multi-layered projects with multiple stakeholders. But for quick turnarounds or working within a Microsoft-heavy organization, Planner gets the job done without any extra cost or setup. In the end, it comes down to your team's workflow and what tools you're already using.